I myself have birthed a child. Welcome to a Q&A. I saw a bunch of other YouTubers do this, so I thought it's time that we got personal. I can't remember the last time I actually did a Q&A. It's been a while. So I asked you guys over on Twitter to send me some personal questions, some questions about my life or perhaps what games I'm into. Let's get into those. Shadow Girl says, who was your first crush before Kyle? I had a boyfriend before I met Kyle and he was called Chris. We stayed together for quite a while and actually we ended up being friends after the relationship and he stayed in contact with me. He last year unfortunately passed away, which was quite a shock. He was so young. So yeah, he was the first crush before Kyle. Kimira asks, how did you start your YouTube career? This is such a funny question actually, because I started my YouTube channel back in 2011 with my best friend called Jenna. And we decided that we were going to be the best girl gamers that 2011 had ever ever seen. So we would upload clips of our gameplays to this YouTube channel with our favorite songs playing in the background. And for some reason, people liked us. I don't know why, but they did. So people started viewing our videos and subscribing to us. And then came the time when Jenna had to leave for university. And I was still too young to be doing that. She's a little bit older than me. So she went off to university and left Chicks Can Game in my hands. And this is where we've ended up. All all these years later. It would have been so different if she stayed and continued the channel with me, but she just, she left me. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I started the channel. We have a question here from Rona Lynn. They say, who inspired you to do YouTube? So I already answered why I started YouTube, but now I'm gonna answer who my inspirations were for YouTube. So after Jenna left for university, I delved into the world of YouTube even deeper, and I became obsessed with channels like Sea Nana's and I Has Cupquake. There was Syndicate at the time too. There were just so many YouTubers making amazing content, and I thought I don't wanna upload these commentary type videos or kill montages anymore. <laughs> So I decided to move on to more gameplays. And so I started watching people like Cupquake. Who else inspired me to be fair? So many people have inspired my channel over the years, I gotta say. So really my friends have inspired me too. Just so many people. <laughs> we have a question here from Ginger. What is your original hair color and what is your favorite type of dog? My original hair color is coming through at the top here. It's this dark black, brownie color and that is my natural hair color which is crazy because now I have purple hair and I love my purple hair and I want to keep it for the rest of my life. I want to be a purple granny. <laughs> And my favorite kind of dog. That's so hard. There's so many dogs out there that I love so much. Favorite dog. If I had to pick one right now, Pomeranian. Fluffy, small, you can put it in your bag. I wouldn't though, but you can. There is the option. Just adorable. Adorable. We have a question here from Kira and Raven who say, are you planning on having any kids? Well, if you guys didn't already know, I already have one child, which must seem so strange to know that now if you didn't know that before. I myself, have birthed a child. Yes, it is true, the rumors are true. My son is called Dante and he is the sweetest, kindest child. I am so grateful to have him in my life and he is the reason why I keep doing what I do because he is so proud of me and my YouTube channel and I am so proud of him. So I do have a child and I'm not planning on having any more. I actually speak more in detail about my child and how this happened in my Draw My Life. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link in the description. I'm sure you've already answered this, but how did you meet Lauren Z-Side, says Rooster? I met Lauren through I think like Twitter or YouTube. This was way back. Lauren followed me and I think she interacted with me on Twitter and she said she really liked my videos and wanted to know me. And I think we, I don't know, I really liked her too. And I decided I want to be friends with this girl. She seems awesome. Another person who's interested in YouTube and games and is American. She lives in New York. That was so cool to me back then. I was like, yes, Ace, I want to be her friend. And so we've been friends ever since. And we've shared so many crazy and fun experiences. And she's always been there for me. She is number one. I love her. 
Lauren, Amber says, who are some of your favorite YouTubers that you watch? Number one has to be Shane Dawson at the moment. Love the documentary style videos he puts out, but I didn't really like the Jeffree Star one so much towards the end because it made me feel poor. And I just felt so sad watching it, like him getting in the private jets and things. I was like, how? What? I remember Jeffree Star back in the emo days of like 2008 when he was releasing music and now now he's flying around the world in a jet with an amazing makeup brand. So I had to stop watching it. My mind was blown. Oh, other YouTubers I watch, I gotta say, big fan of Lauren Z side again. And also LD Shadow Lady. I do watch every one of her videos. She's just funny. Who else? I've been watching quite a bit of Biju Mike. He's also really funny. These are all just my friends. I just, I like my friends. And Gloom, Gloom, great YouTuber. Go check them out. I got asked here, how do you stick to a recording editing schedule? Do you ever get busy that it messes it up? Yes. I do get busy sometimes. Sometimes things pop out of nowhere and disrupt my entire day. Or sometimes I just want to stay in bed. But I must stick to a schedule. And I have an office and a member of staff working for me. So I feel like that has helped my schedule so much. And it's helped me stick to it. But yes, I try to stick to a schedule. But because I'm me, I don't think that's ever going to happen. If you weren't a YouTuber, what job do you think you would have? Also, what did you want to be when you were little? When? When I was younger, I first of all wanted to be a vet. I have always loved animals. Animals have always been a part of my heart. That's why I own so many of them. But then I realized I have a fear of blood. I hate blood. The idea of it, the look of it, it smells sometimes. You can get smelly blood. I do not like the idea of it. It makes me ill. And so I decided that next I would want to be a jockey, you know, like a horse rider. Don't ask. <laughs> I wanted to be a jockey to ride horses as my job. But then I decided I don't like the horse racing industry. So I decided I didn't want to. So after that, I decided I wanted to be a singer, but I can't sing. <laughs> I was in choir and everything at school, but I don't think that meant I could sing. So the singing career out the door. I wanted to be an actor, but I can't act. So the acting job out the door. Geez, I've been wanting so many things through my life. And then I decided, you know what? Maybe I should just do nothing. I should be a house mom like my mom was. I just wanted to not have a job and marry a rich man. But then I realized that's probably not going to happen. So then I decided I wanted to be a teacher and I applied to university and I almost entered university, but then YouTube appeared out of nowhere and here I am, what is my life? I love it. I think it's great. As a mother and a wife, how have you found juggling YouTube and your relationship? It's actually really hard sometimes to juggle life and YouTube at the same time because the two of them become one. Your life is YouTube and everything you do is YouTube, but I love it equally the same. So my life kind of merged in with YouTube pretty nicely, to be fair. It happened over a gradual time period, so it was quite easy to fit in there. It does suck though when you want to go out and do something with your family, but you're like, I really need to upload a video. It's been a while. I should probably do that. Sometimes it's been really hard for me as a YouTuber, trying to juggle family life and YouTube, especially when I was doing two videos a day. That was very hard. I like to spend time doing my hair and my makeup before I film a video. That can take up to like two hours if you're getting like a wash and then you're doing your hair and makeup. Then you have to set everything up and the video idea itself. So at the end of a video process, and the editing too, I had no spare time, which also meant I didn't have time. My life was YouTube. So I didn't really see much of anyone, not even my friends, my family. I kind of just stayed in my office from dusk till dawn. And it's not good for you to do that. Really not good for you, actually. It made me quite sad for a while. And that's why I decided to cut back on the uploads. Anyway, wow, this has got deep. But yeah, my life now is so much better. I have an office. I have a schedule, kind of. But yeah, it's just, it's okay now. I've got to the point where I've balanced everything so perfectly. My relationships still suffer because of YouTube. I'm, I'm terrible at replying to people. Why did you decide that you wanted to dye your hair purple pink? By the way, I love your videos. I decided 
that I wanted to dye my hair a crazy color back when I was about 17. As soon as I knew the date of leaving college, I decided I wanted to dye my hair something crazy because all the way through English school, you have to have your natural hair color. So I couldn't have a crazy hair color at school. And that is what I wanted when I grew up. Ring Cat says, why do you love sloths? Who doesn't? They're so cute. Their faces are just, they're literally like, their face is this shape. I don't know what it is about this shape that I love so much, but it's, it's like a potato. And they're so slow and lazy, just like me. Sometimes they're even slow enough that they grow moss on their backs. Moss grows on them. Have you ever eaten off of the floor before? Who hasn't? Again, of course I have. If I drop something on the floor, girl ain't wasting. Do Dante's friends recognize you from YouTube? Yes, they do. And some of them actually watch my videos. Hello. <laughs> it's so cute when I pick him up from school and they recognize me. I think that's adorable. And when I go out in the street, they all know who I am. It's kind of strange, but also I kind of love that. It's really cute. What is the best thing you've experienced in your time on YouTube? I gotta say the best thing was probably hitting 1 million subscribers because that is just what? A million people? Me? Me? Like me? Are you sure? What? Why is Minecraft hard? For me, Minecraft's so hard. I'm so bad at the game. I embarrass myself sometimes with how bad I am. Oh, I don't know. It just is. I don't even know if I've ever completed it properly. I've always had to cheat in a few diamonds here and there. Do you have any allergies? I'm dairy free. Pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant. My stomach says no every time I have milk. So I think I'm gonna stop drinking milk. But no, apart from that, I'm not really allergic to anything else. I hope so anyway. Maybe I am and I just don't know about it yet. What is your favorite comfort food? Margarita pizza. Oh my gosh. The stringy cheese. I just... I love a good pizza. This one time I had a brand deal with Domino's and they gave me a pizza button and every time I'd press it, a pizza would come to my door. That was the best time of my life. Bring, Bring back, back the, the pizza, pizza button. button. Bring, Bring back, back the pizza, pizza button. button. I got another question here that says, how many kids do you have and how many do you want? I already answered that I had one. I don't know if I said that I don't want any more children. I am so happy and spiritual with the one that I don't feel the need to have another one. Also the idea of going through pregnancy again terrifies me. Even though I've done it, it's pff, crazy. No, no more, thank you. I'm happy with the one. Who are some of your best friends that are YouTubers? Good question. My best friend, we have like a group of us. I have multiple groups of us. I have so many YouTube friends, but I gotta say the OG gang, Lizzie, Joel, Callum, Scott, Lauren. We have Joey. Who else? Am I missing someone? I'm gonna feel so bad. Holly, did I say that? Maybe that's not a good question to answer because I can't remember all of my friends right now. I have so many. Are you planning on doing Roblox videos in the future. Yes. I want to play Roblox. I just don't know what to post. I feel like Roblox on the channel kind of went from a high to a low. Quite a lot of people stopped watching it. So I was like, maybe people don't want to see Roblox anymore. If you guys want to see some Roblox, let me know down in the comments. Thank you. What's a place that you'd love to travel to that you've never been before? I would love to go to Japan. So bad. I want to go there. I want to eat all the ramen. I want to play all the crane games. All of the things you could do in England, basically. But you're in Japan. That's so cool. I also want to go see all the temples and the scenery. I want to see the beautiful countryside. I want to go on the bullet trains. I want to explore. Japan has so much to offer. I love the culture. I just want to go there one day and I will buy all of the Hello Kitty merchandise. No one can stop me. Who is the most famous person you've met or got in contact with? I met Shakira. You know the whenever, whenever. <laughs> That's what she sounds like. I met her. She is amazing. I love Shakira. She's so friendly. She's so smiley. She's so happy. I can't explain what she's like. She is a ray of joy and sunlight in this world. I love her. Filming a video with her was so good, but oh my gosh, I was so nervous and you can tell I am. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down in the description. I met Shakira. She's the most famous person I think I'll ever meet. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave today's Q&A. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did do make sure to leave a like and follow me on twitter